Hey, what's up guys? Nick and Paul here with a new episode of Real Estaters. We promise to show you luxury brand new construction and we're doing it today. We are here today in a super desirable location east of Bakaratan, about one and a half miles from the beach. And behind me is a beautiful 5,500 square foot mansion with a sticker price of just $6.2 million. We're here today pretty much live at the open house. We welcome you to go check it out with us. And we even might have a chance to meet and talk with the builder. Let's go. All right, guys, just a couple of words about the outside. Let's go. I love this beautiful fox grass touches. If you want to preserve the look of your frontage, that's the best decision to do. Check it out, Paul, even, even the palms. I never seen such evenly colored palms before, but then I realized they just painted over and looks like they sealed it. Oh yeah. Interesting. Not too much to say about the frontage. It's just very um, well, nice constructed. It's a modern design. Plain, white, no texture, grayish accents. The only unique here, what I notice, is this mailbox. I believe that Elon Musk was designing it. Look, that's a Cybertruck. <laughs> Cybertruck mailbox. All right, let's keep moving. I kinda like you. And uh, here we go, the front. Again, beautiful landscaping and the door. I don't wanna say it's a piece of art, but it's just, it's a suitable door for this kind of property. It's just, that's when you build $6.2 million mansion, that's kind of door you want to meet whoever enters this property. Beautiful. Let's go inside. Huge open space here. I'm first time inside as well as you guys. So we'll see our genuine reaction. So we got kitchen out here, huge living room with an electric fireplace, the wine cooler behind you. Paul, turn a little bit. Let's show them the wine coolers here. I mean, maybe I would install like a little wet bar. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's see the kitchen. I'm very curious what kind of appliances they installed. So. No handles, very modern, beautiful. We got lots of ton of storage space. Look, I don't know what it does, but so See, we it, got it. It looks like it's soft closing. It's, no, it it was something like I pulled it. Oh yeah, you see that? You know what? Maybe maybe it's a push to open. Yeah, it has a little push to open right there. So when once you pull a little bit, I push what it. it what it does, it just pushes it back to you. No, it doesn't feel like it pushed. Yeah, it is pushed open. You were right. Uh, wolf appliances everywhere, top of the level. Wine coolers, by the way, were Thermador, but again, it's top level appliances. We got beautiful handless kitchen cabinets, commercial grade gas stove, commercial grade um, exhaust system here. Beautiful sink with a nicely done faucet have even more storage space right here with the quartz on the top or maybe it's a granite what do you think paul i think it's it looks like a natural stone maybe granite all right let's keep moving paul which way you want to go left or right uh let's go right let's go right yeah all right um let's stop by here i thought it's an office when i just got here but now i figure there is no door so it's got to be a dining room and by the way, I don't know if you noticed, I don't know this beautiful accent wall here with a double glass on each side. Would be really cool if you can fill it up with the water and have it like an aquarium, you know, with the lighting inside and little different species of fishes. Would be cool. With little sharks. <laughs> little sharks, <laughs> hybrids. 
again, this is a den or a second office or just some activity room. Kitchen, we have even more storage right here, walk-in pantry. Very nicely done laundry. The main thing about laundry is to have a lot of surface area so you can put all the clothes around. Top of the line Electrolux machines. All right, we got garage here. By the way, everywhere, super heavy doors, solid core. That's the doors you want to have in a $6 million mansion. Two car, garage, epoxy floor. I'm personally a little bit afraid it might be slippery because they looks like they just put too much of the top coat on it. Coming in here, Paul, what do you think so far? Um, I think it's ton of the light in this house. It's really great. It's definitely many windows here, a lot of natural lighting coming in, I agree with you. I like those small details like linear grills and the ceiling. They already pre-installed hookups for the TVs, old screwless plate. That's a big mistake of many developers I've noticed. When you build a luxury house and you claim like over five million bucks for it, and you put a regular place with these ugly screws, and they most of the time don't even match the direction, so you basically leave them like this. Just like because if you developer, don't do that. Coming into the huge master bath, <laughs> tremendous size walk-in shower. Look at this. It's tinted. Just lets you know, <laughs> I'm 6'4", and so my hand width is about the same. And this is how big it is. And the soaking tub, beautiful. So it's like two in one. You can lay down here in the soaking tub or you can take a shower. I like these niches right here so you can put everything you need, have more. Stand right here. Look, there's a suspended sink, suspended vanities, and they have ambient light under that. Beautiful, very nicely done. Touchless faucets. Works. Interesting. So they like, you don't have to place hands under them, you just gotta touch. And they go. Then touch again and turn them off. And here we go. Closet? Another closet? I think we had two closets around there. Yeah, maybe some kind of a extra room for private office. Another office? So obviously whoever's gonna afford this kind of house got to be a very busy guy or a girl with a very busy family members. So you need many offices here. That's the closet. That's her closet. Oh, no, you know what? That was a her closet. This is her closet too, and this is his closet. Most likely. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Another office. So, so far we counted possibly three offices or three closets. <laughs> Which way? Uh, I think we should go straight. Straight forward. Decent sized bedroom. I mean, obviously good for the kids. Very nicely done bathrooms. Paul, Paul take a pic. Again, take a look. So many lights. This, I like these windows. A lot of light, yeah. Uh, maybe missing blinds, right? I would maybe pre-install at least some honeycombs. You know what? The only mistake, like a little mistake, in the modern world, Pretty much all of them are electrical, so you, I would put little connections up there so you can hook them up without running a cable to the outlet. It's definitely doable. Check out the bathroom, beautiful suspended vanities everywhere. And um, when we've been looking at the picture, you were saying that those are custom cut mirrors. I believe so now. Let's go, got another bathroom right here. Just a powder bath, really quick. Another bedroom, not too big of a size, definitely smaller than the other one we saw uh, on the other side of the house, but a, but a closet, look at this. It's a tremendous size closet. Oh, wow. It's pretty much the same size as a bedroom. Another master bath. Call it a 
double master or an in-law suite, it's up to you, but it definitely can, have, has right to be called as a master. Look at this shower. It's huge. Love it. Oh, that, that's a piece of art. Look at these faucets. Well, they make a strange noise though. <laughs> Let's go. Another storage space. Check it out. You also have all your electrical connections there for the CCTV and internet. Another bedroom about the same size as we just saw. Again, beautifully done. Bathrooms. And we got another bedroom over here. So in total we have five bedrooms. Two of them are masters, right? Two masters, yeah. Okay, cool. Another bathroom, nice shower by the way. I'll show them the shower. So we got five bedrooms, two of them are masters. Pretty much it, let's go outside. All right, we're back into the living. This is the main access to the outdoor. Look at the size of the sliding doors. It is one, two, three, four, five, six panel sliding doors. And they gotta be really, really heavy. Let's go. I don't wanna break those doors, but you gotta be able to push them one by all one. The way. Nick, we got it. <laughs> cool. You can push those two all the way as well. Let's close it. I don't wanna waste all the AC inside. have decent outdoor space here beautiful owning you have more than enough space to enjoy the outdoor at any weather condition beautiful fountains here I kinda like you. we have beautifully built embedded outdoor kitchen with the stone countertops decent sized grill wet bar a little what's that cooler and another fireplace i don't know what you need for electrical fireplace outside but you have it and everything covered we have a roof under us yeah the owning is really great good to mention paul Hi. Nick, what are you doing? Enjoying beautiful outdoor space here. I love it. I love this pool. I wish we could just jump in and cool down because it's about 95 degrees outside, crazy hot. Come on, let's go inside. Could the pool be bigger? Probably, yeah. I love to swim, so I would maybe extend it all the way and have like an Olympic pool or just a half of Olympic pool. The pool could be bigger if you want it, but you can install a playground. We got even more space on the other side. This is a little disadvantage of the house, but I believe over the years they will take all these wires and uh, dig them down in ground, maybe. guys if you have any question about a listing our information will be down below if you're looking for a new construction this is definitely a great option to check out please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell so we won't miss our next episode thanks for watching till the end and we'll see you next time